Yes. Start. Hi, I'm Artist Yvette Michelle, and I'm here at the NSU Art Museum um, for Starry Night. And I have Sebastian here with me, and we're in one of the spaces that I am absolutely in love with now. I love this artist, and Sebastian's going to share a little bit more about the history here and what, uh, what else is going on with Starry Night. Um, Sebastian, can you share a little bit about, about my new heart drop? <laughs> Absolutely, very fresh. Well, Wifredo Lam, who uh, was an, a Cuban artist and he worked and lived for a long time in Paris and in Europe, uh, was for a long time the most well-known Latin American artist, especially in the early uh, 1900s. He was good friends with Picasso, who we have as well in this oh exhibition. Oh my God. Hey. If you can take a look, quick look around. Oh. And then in the back, you can see we have Cobra artists. All these artists from Europe were friends. And that's part of the thesis and the themes behind this exhibition, Remember to React, exactly. 60 Years of Collecting. Yes. NSU Art Museum turned 60 last year, in 2018. We wow. started off in 1958. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you, we're very young. Uh, but in 1958, we were a small storefront in Las Olas. Some people may remember or know about it. And we changed our names eventually. We became a museum in 1974. And that's when we were able to collect pieces and have pieces added into our collection. Right. So we start off with traditional African art, which we also have on view. Right. We have a survey of art history, specifically modern art, but we start off with that basis of African art because it was an influencer for all these modern artists that we know like Picasso. Matisse. Oh my God, Picasso was in love with all of those statues, right? That's when he started Absolutely. doing all those sculptures Absolutely. and everything. We actually have a poster over here that looks very similar to what a African mask will look like. Um, and if you're interested in coming, you will see not only Picasso, uh, ceramics, but also posters and prints. He was a uh, very smart person in making a living, uh, making himself known. But we feel Lam, who was uh, a Latin American artist, he was Cuban as I mentioned, he used surrealism, which came later on. Um, it started in Europe. Uh, it, and to start with Dali and different and Andre Breton in France. Yes. Um, and Duchamp. Some of my well. other favorite artists, yes. 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 Um, <laughs> my old crushes. I got a new boo now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, and he was a, a fantastic artist, but for him, surrealism was the perfect avenue to make his art, uh, to make it relatable. To, it's something, when you look at it, if we take a look over here at this piece, you may see something that it's uh, a composite of creatures, of beasts. And that's what he's trying to show where in Latin America there is magical realism. You may know that also through Frida Kahlo, a very yes. well-known painter. Also, we have one of her sketches downstairs if you're interested in seeing that. Absolutely, but, the, but no filming downstairs, no okay? Filming downstairs. Make sure on first floor, no filming, yes. <laughs> but with these artists in Latin America, as I mentioned, surrealism was a reality. It was this ability to demonstrate what they are living through culturally. He brings in also works from Africa and from um, Cuba, Asia. like something. Yes, yeah, and yes, Asia, yeah, absolutely. He's quite a mix. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're, this is someone who you'll love as a painter, but you'll also love as a, a clay maker. And you can see these beautiful plates that we have here. And that's how he started becoming uh, friends with Picasso, because of surroundings. Um, Picasso was the one who brought ceramics into the world of art as a fine art, and many artists followed that. And for them, it was such a malleable, such a, a medium about texture and being able to work with it in your hands that he was obsessed with it. Uh, look how beautiful he was able to work with something that he had not necessarily been, been educated. Into. Right, yeah, and, the detail is awesome. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And then we see the framing, which uh, makes it into a staple of of art, it, he's saying that this plate here could also be considered a painting, even though it's Absolutely. not a canvas or wood. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Sebastian, for thank giving us so an much. introduction. We're going to go collect um, our friends that are down Absolutely. in the lobby waiting for us for the meetup. It's called the New Art Collect the New Art Collective, Great. and it's got over 400 members in it. But I think we just have a few dozen people who may show up this evening. Good. So Good. yeah, well, I'm very yeah. happy for you to be I'm your so friends for this initiative. I'm so honored to have met thank you, and you. thank you for giving this educational oh, month, yes. um, moment during Black it's History my Month. Pleasure. My pleasure. And um, this is a part of the diaspora, yeah. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have many other artists apart from our traditional African art, contemporary African artist, beautiful Zanel Maholi prints. If you don't know them, you sh definitely should go Google them. So you're more than welcome to come Free First Thursdays as a night to come. Right, and one last little secret. 
there's living artists in this museum. I was like blown away that not all of the artists on the walls are dead. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And local, right? Yes, and yes, Floridians. Yes, okay. Definitely Great. many local artists. So. All right, that's a goal. Absolutely. All right, <laughs> all right thank you so much. Thank for you so much. I appreciate you. you. My pleasure.